Israel's defense minister, Yoav Gallant, is headed to Washington for talks on the war. Just as he was due to arrive, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu repeated his complaint that U.S. arms shipments had dropped sharply in recent months. U.S. officials have said they're not aware of any issues, though they have been at odds with Israel's right-wing government over the surging death toll in Gaza. Here's Netanyahu speaking at his cabinet meeting this Sunday. About four months ago, there was a dramatic drop in the supply of armaments arriving from the U.S. to Israel. For weeks, we asked our American friends to speed up the shipments. We did it time and time again. After months of no change in this situation, I decided to give it a public expression. I did it out of years of experience and knowing that this step is essential to release the bottleneck. Well, for more on this, I'm joined in the studio by our international affairs editor, Ketevan Gorgistani. Ketevan, hello. Now, despite the confused response from U.S. officials, it seems Netanyahu is not backing down on these claims. No, he's uh, definitely doubling down, and he's uh, also explaining uh, his move, as we heard in that soundbite, uh, basically as a, a political strategy to say it out publicly in the hopes that it would uh, make the Americans change, but uh, that hasn't changed the fact that uh, at least least uh, until now, though we haven't re seen any reaction to these latest comments by uh, the White House. The White House has been uh, very clear in their response, saying uh, whether it was the press secretary who said the, that they had no idea what he was talking about, or uh, the National Security Council spokesperson, John Kirby, uh, who said that it was vexing and disappointing, uh, and even more so, uh, completely wrong. So uh, the uh, fact that uh, Benjamin Netanyahu is doubling down down on uh, that issue uh, is uh, raising uh, some questions, especially given the timing with uh, Yoav Gallant uh, traveling to the United States and having to uh, meet with uh, some of these uh, U.S. officials. And what the White House has pointed to is that there has been one official pause in weapons uh, delivery. It happened in May. It's over those 2,000-pound bombs, those mass bombs that cause really mass casualties. And uh, the White House was very clear about why they were pausing that delivery. They said that they had concerns over the fact that the Israelis could use it in highly uh, populated areas in uh, Gaza, for example, in Rafah. And that is why they were reviewing that delivery. But uh, they at least till now have not appointed to any other uh, sort of uh, pauses or delays in delivery uh, to uh, the uh, Israelis. And uh, John Kirby actually uh, said that it was uh, perplexing, to say the least, certainly disappointing, especially given that no other country is doing more to help Israel defend itself against uh, the threat of Hamas. So the question is also, uh, why would Benjamin Netanyahu, uh, even though he said in that cabinet meeting that he uh, was seeing good signs that this could be uh, resolved, why he would double down again, uh, angering probably the Americans again ahead of those important meetings for Yoav Gallant. Yeah, let's talk more about those meetings, Ketevan. What, what can we expect to come out of them? Well, uh, the uh, defense uh, minister is going to be uh, meeting with uh, his U.S. counterpart, of course, uh, Lloyd Austin. He's also going to be meeting with uh, the Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, probably also with the National Security Advisor, uh, Jake Sullivan. So it is uh, sort of the same round of talks that he had uh, back in March when uh, he uh, was last in uh, Washington. And uh, initially, these were about discussing what was going on uh, the ground, uh, focused on uh, the uh, developments in Gaza and where the Israelis are taking their war in Gaza. Yoav Gallant uh, wanting to talk about uh, the next phase of uh, the war in uh, Gaza, but there are going to be two other things now that are going to be discussed. One is the situation uh, at the north with Lebanon. We've been talking about uh, the rise in tensions at the, the border uh, there, and that is likely going to be a focus of uh, conversations, especially since the Americans have been trying uh, for weeks now to avoid an escalation at that uh, northern border. And, of course, he is likely going to have to discuss uh, what uh, is happening with those arms deliveries, uh, probably have some explaining to do towards the Americans, maybe get some answers uh, from uh, the Americans. But what is interesting to note is that Yoav Gallant is seen by the Americans as sort of uh, a 
a bridge between uh, the Biden administration and uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, and he was already, when he was there last time, a sort of bridge at a time of tensions between uh, the two leaders, and it seems that this is likely going to be the case. Uh, again, the Americans feeling that they can discuss things with uh, Yoav Gallant as the defense uh, minister, and someone who has also been critical of uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, especially in the conduct of the war and the idea of what happened after the war in Gaza is over, which is something that the Americans are very focused on. All right. It's going to be interesting to see what comes out of those talks. We'll be keeping a close eye on it. Ketavan, thank you so much for that. That's our international affairs editor there, Ketavan Gorgistani.